My name is Eva. Thank you for joining me on this um, adventure, the Guatemala Treehouse Project. This project is very dear to my heart and I am very honored to have you uh, watching this video um, and having a little bit of interest in it. So come on in and I'm going to show you what this Treehouse Project is all about. Hi, come on in. This is the main floor of the treehouse. This uh, unit houses uh, John and Betty live here and they have been here for a little over a year now. Um, I'm happy that they are here. They are wonderful tenants. Betty is fluently uh, bilingual in Spanish uh, and English, so Betty is going to be a great, great help for the NGO. And John is super, super handy when it comes to carpentry and renovating. So John will be helping me um, renovate and fix up all the rooms. So this is their apartment. And they will be staying because they come with the trio. And I'm very happy that they're here. On the top floor, there are four units on the top floor with a potential of five units. This is one of the units here that has been it's completely demolished and hasn't been touched in a while. This will be turned into an apartment that I probably will be taking over. You can see that there's tons of work to be done in it. Here's another unit for a volunteer. Uh, the volunteer housing, uh, the volunteer units have bunk beds. So every, there's two units here and they will hold, they will hold uh, two volunteers comfortably in a bathroom. There's another unit that is being rented right now for a short for a short term tenant right now. Uh, another bunk bed again is going to hold another two volunteers here. And then this is my unit that I currently live in. And this is simply just an apartment for uh, a, a couple or myself or a couple of yeah. So the top floor, so this has the potential, I can turn this into two separate units. This has the potential for another uh, volunteer housing. You can see that the building is pretty solid. It's been up here. It's been standing for over 20 years. And coming down, this is the main casita right here, which is where the owner currently lives. This way will be turning into the main community center for the volunteers. The volunteers will get their food here. They'll get their three meals a day here. Come on in. They'll get their three meals a day here, which is why I'm going to keep uh, the housekeeper because she can help me here with this. And she's also a little bit bilingual. So the volunteers will eat here in the main house. And in the back is where the current bedroom is. And I'll probably turn that into like a sitting room or a little lounge area for the volunteers. So they can come and sit and chill in here. And you can see it's fully equipped and already. This is the Kaye home, which is a laneway to the treehouse. And in this laneway, all these doors, all the way through the laneways, house really poor families and, <laughs> and roosters. And a lot of these families have known, have come to know, to know, love and trust me. And I actually just sort of drop off random food. I'll knock on doors and say, hey, are you, did you guys eat today? And I'll drop off bananas or pineapples or milk or whatever. So, this, my laneway to, the laneway to the trio, all the way down here, is all houses and all, I, I see three of the families in this house right here, I'll knock on their door, these guys here, there's a, there's a, I bet you there's 10 kids and there's three families here and I bet you there's about 10 kids and often they'll come to this family here, knock on the door and just drop off food um, and candies. So along, right along this whole laneway is all these people and a lot of these people are not sponsored through my families. They have no sponsorship. 
Um, and my FM actually just can't take on the overload because there's so many people down here that don't have food, don't have sponsors, don't have anything. So this is where I can come in and pick up that overload, that excess of families that my families can't handle. I can come in and, and pick up that extra and help feed some of these families and help send some of these kids to school. A lot of these kids don't go to school because they have to pay for it. They have to pay for supplies, they have to pay for a lot of things. And they just don't go to school. So we can do that too uh, while we're down here. So you can see how the treehouse uh, is just in the perfect position here to help all these families here. So as you can see, the treehouse of hope is very well self-contained. There's already a number of rooms in here to house volunteers. It was almost like it just kind of landed in my lap. This was a clear, clear sign from the universe for me. I feel this with every ounce of every ounce of it inside of me. It's already ready for volunteers, um, and all I have to do is just get my NGO up and running. So this place is perfect for everything that I want it to be, uh, which is the Treehouse of Hope in Guatemala. Thank you. Jesus, signing out. Jesus, I'm amazing. Jesus, I'm amazing. Signing out.